Here we're gonna prove a pretty standard result that you learn in calculus, but a lot of times in calculus you prove it with L'Hopital's rule, and we're not going to use L'Hopital's rule. So what do we wanna prove? We wanna prove that the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over x to the n is infinity for all natural numbers n. So in other words, this exponential function is always dominating any sort of polynomial function. And we're actually gonna use a couple of facts without proof, but if you want to, you can give a proof or a sketch of a proof in the comments. The first is that x is less than e to the x for all real numbers x. That implies that e to the x over x is bigger than one for all positive real numbers. And finally, we'll use this fact that the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x is equal to infinity. But notice that that will follow from this first fact pretty quickly using like some sort of comparison test with the limits. Okay, so let's maybe get rid of these facts and then we'll jump into the solution. Now that we've set up a problem, we're ready to look at a solution. In other words, we're ready to show that the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over x to the n is infinity. So how can we do that? Well, I'm just gonna rewrite my limit real quick so that I have it. So I've got the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over x to the n. Now I'm gonna rewrite this limit by multiplying by one in like a really special way. So let's see how we can do that. So I'll have this is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over n plus one times e to the n times x over n plus one. So notice if I were to multiply those together, I'd get n plus one times x over n plus one. That would cancel down to e to the x. So that's the first trick that we'll employ. And the second one is writing this as x over n plus one to the n times n plus one to the n. Notice those factors of n plus one will cancel. Okay, so now let's group terms and bring some things out of the limit if we can. So we can bring outside of the limit this one over n plus one to the nth power. And now this guy right here and this guy right here are pretty similar. In fact, using exponent rules, they're both to the nth power. So let's rewrite that using that fact. So we've got the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over n plus one over x over n plus one, all to the nth power times e to the x over n plus one. Now notice this is the same, we've just rewritten some things a little bit. Now I'm gonna make a change of variables. So let's set u equal to x to the n plus one. But if x is approaching infinity, then u is also approaching infinity. You might be worried because n is an indeterminate, but it's not limiting, so it's a constant with respect to the limit. That'll leave us with one over n plus one to the n times the limit as u approaches infinity of e to the u over u all to the n times times e to the u. Okay, but now we can use our fact. Our fact was that this object right here is bigger than one, making this limit bigger than one over n plus one to the n times the limit as u goes to infinity of e to the u. Again, because this bit right here is bigger than one. But now our other fact said that the limit of that was infinity, but this is just a constant, meaning we have a constant times infinity or infinity. So starting up here and ending down here proves our claim, and that's a good place to stop.